Hey guys, Mark here with Car Audio Fabrication, and as you know, the last year or so I've been working on Project Jeep Build. If you've been following along with the build, you know that I recently finished up the subwoofer box, so now the full build is completely finished. So I wanted to do a system overview video with you guys and just walk you through everything that we did. And I also wanted to do a little bit of a sound test. This project took quite a while, but I'm really excited with how it turned out. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. So starting up front, we have a Rockford Fosgate set of component speakers. Component meaning that they're actually separate speakers. We have tweeters up on the dash, and then we have six and a half inch woofers inside of the dash. This particular set of speakers is Rockford Fosgate's T2 series, and I gotta say they sound great. In order to get the woofers to fit, it wasn't a problem at all. I just installed them into their stock locations within the vehicle. And in order to actually install these tweeters, I 3D printed some little tweeter brackets that I then installed into the dash. Now let's move on to the rear sound bar. So here in the rear of the vehicle, we have the sound bar. This is something that comes from the factory in the Jeep. And within the sound bar, I've installed two Rockford Fosgate T1 six inch coaxial speakers. In order to install them, I had to make a custom speaker adapter bracket which I did in one of the videos and showed how to do I used ABS to actually make it and while I was at it I also soundproofed and did some sound treatment on the sound bar in order to prevent any rattles and in order to improve the bass performance Taking the time to do those extra steps made it so that with these upgraded powerful speakers, I don't have to worry about any rattles. And again, it also improved a lot of the mid bass response. So it has a lot of that kick that comes from the drums and rock music and other genres of music. Now from here, we need to move to the powerhouse behind everything. And we need to talk about how we actually integrated with the stock radio here. So let's move on to the back to take a look at the amplifier rack. Here at the rear of the vehicle, we have the amplifier rack, which houses two Rockford Fosgate amplifiers. One is a T400 and the other is a T500. The T400 powers the coaxials in the rear and the component set up front, and then the T500 powers our subwoofer, which we'll talk about next. Underneath the amplifier rack is full power distribution with all the fuses and the entire amp rack underneath this beauty panel is actually made out of plastic materials. Here in between the amplifiers, we have the audio control DM810 digital signal processor. This allows us to interface with the stock radio and send its signal to our new aftermarket amplifiers. With the DSP, we can control time alignment, crossovers, and equalization for each of the speakers individually. For all the wiring and everything else I had to do to actually install these into the vehicle, you can check out that video within the playlist. In order to highlight the amplifiers and processor and also show all of the different sponsors of this build, I made this amplifier rack beauty panel that sits above everything. It features edge lit acrylic around each of the different components. It has formed metal mesh. It also has a vinyl wrap that matches the interior of the vehicle and a painted trim ring that matches some of the different trim pieces up front within the vehicle that are also painted this satin gray. Now throughout the whole vehicle, we have sound skin sound insulation. I sound treated both of the front doors. I sound treated the whole floor as well as the side panels. And this is all in an effort to quiet down this notoriously loud road noise vehicle. By lowering the ambient noise level within the vehicle, we're able to more easily hear the definition within the sound. Finally, here at the rear of the vehicle, we have the ported subwoofer enclosure. This subwoofer box, you can see that it's actually shaped to the contour of the floor, and it has quite a unique shape, and I did this by stacking layers of material together in order to form it. Again, the subwoofer enclosure is ported, and you can see on the front face, it's wrapped with the same vinyl as the back amplifier rack, and it also features some of that same white coloring in order to match the amplifier rack. So I know you guys have been wondering how does it sound Let's head back and do some testing. So here we are back in the Jeep testing it right now. I'm a little sweaty because I've been tuning for the last couple of hours. And I just want to preface this whole testing part of the video by saying it's really hard to explain and truly let you guys hear what this system sounds like through YouTube. First of all, you have to remember that you're just hearing what the microphone on my camera is picking up. It isn't like a super high quality microphone or anything like that. And then you also have to remember that whatever you're hearing it through, whether it be a cheap pair of headphones or some cheap laptop speakers, 
or anything like that, it's not going to necessarily reproduce the sound the same way that it actually sounds here in the vehicle. Also, this system is designed to be well balanced between all the mids and highs and the subwoofer, so it isn't super subwoofer heavy. So I know in a lot of the other car audio videos where guys will have a ton of subs in the car, it's really easy to show how loud it is because the whole car is just shaking and going nuts, but this system wasn't about that. Anyway, let's see if I can show you guys. So I started off with tuning this, and I actually took a reading on the RTA, and I was able to get this curve here. You'll notice that the curve isn't completely flat. You can see that it's actually boosted a little bit in the base region, and then everything above 3,000 or so hertz, I roll off. I did this intentionally because I do like a little bit more bass emphasis in the music when I'm listening to the sound, most people do, and I didn't really want these highs on these tweeters to be piercing. So because of their install location, they're kind of sharp, but I was able to deal with that in tuning by, like I said, rolling that upper end response off. The other hard part about this is I can't play songs that you guys really know or recognize because all of those songs are always under copyright. So I need to play copyright free songs. So I've got a series of different songs here that we can listen to from different genres. Let's start with classical. Now a reminder, if you are new here to the channel, I have a full build playlist for every step of this whole build along the way. So if you wanna check that out, you can check that out here on my channel. A special thanks goes out to all the different sponsors of this build. Rockford Fosgate for providing the speakers and the amplifiers and the subwoofer and the wiring, the main vehicle sponsor for this build. Thank you to them. A thank you to Audio Control for providing the digital signal processor, the DM810. A thank you to Soundskins for providing all the sound insulation materials for sound treating the whole vehicle. Thank you to Mobile Solutions for providing some of the different tools that I needed to use to make this build. A thank you to my buddy JT Torres for laser etching and cutting the rear sponsor panel. And most of all, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters, John, Brian, Ali, Jerry, EJ, Emmanuel, Truman, James, Colin, and the rest of the Patreon support team. A big, huge thanks to those guys for helping support all the making of all this content. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. I really appreciate that you guys watch these videos. What's coming next? Be sure to stay tuned in. I'll see you guys soon.